Ferrari are set to bring a new, revolutionary version of their car in Imola, with a massive upgrade package that is poised to bring the battle back to Red Bull for what could be a very interesting and highly anticipated season in 2024. Although the deficit between Red Bull and Ferrari is still huge, the steps that the Maranello team took without any upgrades are massive, and the difference in the car's behaviour is inevitable. So with this in mind, what kind of upgrades are Ferrari preparing for Imola? And more importantly, is it going to bring them the 3 tenths per second they need to take the battle straight to Verstappen's nose? It goes without saying that Ferrari's overly conservative approach for 2024 paid off, and they've been proving it very consistently so far in 2024. Although the double-digit deficit is still present, Formula 1 is a sport in which miracles don't happen overnight, and if you want to see a lot of progress, then you need to introduce a lot of upgrade packages, and Ferrari is going to do that in Imola as their first step to tackling down the advantage that Red Bull has in 2024. Now, one of the key changes that the Maranello team will apply will revolve around the side pods as well as the floor of the car, because these two are the components with which the Austrian team was able to make such a great difference compared to the rest of the grid. Now, by understanding their car much more clearly, and by knowing where it can be improved in 2024, Ferrari have managed to shed 6 tenths per second compared to Red Bull in Suzuka, and that's without any upgrades at all. Whereas Red Bull brought the first step towards what would seem to be a Mercedes-like concept for the remainder of the season, fully completed in Imola. To add more fuel to the fire, Red Bull was one of the worst teams when it came to improving their pace compared to last year in Suzuka, around 6 tenths per second. And while they still finished in a dominant dominant 1-2 fashion, there is still hope that the season could provide a lot more interesting racing once the upgrades to the SF24 are mounted in Imola. What this goes to show is that the concept Red Bull is chasing, while still very efficient, might not be as productive as they want it to be, and even though the talent of Verstappen is more than enough for now to take the RB21 through the chequered flag, this challenge will become a lot harder in the foreseeable future. That is, if the bodywork and floor changes in Imola work for Ferrari. And judging by what they've done in Suzuka, without any new parts implemented on the car, with Leclerc being the only driver to have finished the race on a one-lap strategy, which is quite an impressive feature judging by the fact that this race eats up the tyres a lot, even for a team like Red Bull, it might not be that impossible to see the Ferrari winning a lot more frequently in 2024. This is something that Sainz has opened up about, which is more or less around Imola, Ferrari would have a hard time catching up with Red Bull, but after that, the situation is poised to be very different, which clearly indicates that he has a lot of trust in the upgrades that Ferrari have prepared for him and Leclerc. The bad news is that Ferrari would have to cut off Sainz at a certain period of the season due to the fear of confidential information being leaked to his next team which is yet to be decided. And to make matters worse, two of the primary candidates to sign signs are Red Bull and Mercedes, the fiercest rivals of Ferrari. Nevertheless, the stable platform of the car is what Vasseur is praying for to bring big gains to the SF24, and throughout the winter period, he was constantly saying that it's highly important that his team find stability rather than performance, because by doing so, they'll be able to mount upgrades that the car won't view as a foreign body and will accept as one of its own. This is something that is very likely to happen from Imola onwards, and when talking about the car's performance in general, as well as the nature of the upgrades, Vasseur went on to say, We have upgrades in the pipeline, but I'm sure that we're not the only ones. If you have a look at last year, McLaren improved a lot during the season, but I think it was more for them to unlock something at the beginning than pure upgrades, and we improved, but not by half a second. The car is easier to drive compared to one year ago, and it's much easier to understand where we have to improve. In this situation, I think it's a huge step forward for us in the overall picture. Well, it's very unusual for us to be hearing a lot of positive statements from Ferrari, but obviously they're putting a lot of trust in the Imola upgrade package that the team hopes will bring them the much needed 3 tenths per second in order to fight with Verstappen and Red Bull. Obviously, we shouldn't forget the fact that Red Bull is also going to complete their massive upgrade package in Imola as well, and if it turns out to be quite uncatchable, then all of the statements made by Ferrari will be in vain. Regardless, Ferrari are right now definitely the second best team out there, and the difference between them and Red Bull is not nearly as big as it was last year. In fact, it's halved, and there is still a lot of room for improvement. One thing that they have to pay a lot of attention to is the tyre degradation, 
Because even though Leclerc managed to compete an entire race with a one-stopper strategy, it effectively means that his qualifying pace has taken a huge slump. And that's something he needs to work on, because the last thing he wants is to cover places and burn up his tyres on Sunday after starting in the middle of the grid. This is something that the Monegas driver has opened up about, and when talking about it, he said that he doesn't have an issue being a better driver in qualifying, because, to this point, he was known as the guy who performed extremely well on Saturday due to the high performance that Ferrari represented on a one-lap merit. But now that they've turned their biggest weakness into one of their biggest strengths, they have to adapt the car's behaviour on Saturday sessions. Of course, just because Ferrari had solid tyre management in Suzuka doesn't mean that they can bet on the same thing in China or after the Imola upgrades due to the different natures of the tarmac as well as the natures of the track. But if we are to judge by one of the most tyre demanding tracks on the calendar, Ferrari is on a good path to be a constant challenger for Red Bull, given the fact that Verstappen was not very satisfied with the car and the overall performance of the RB20 compared to last year. And according to Vassir, Ferrari would have to keep a close eye on everything around them as this is not the time where they can get carried on by the positive signs that they've been receiving from both the simulator and the on-track performance. And elaborating on this to a further extent, he went on to say, We've taken a big step forward in high-speed corners, and Suzuka is a good example of that, as well as in tyre management. It's always a compromise. When you improve one side, you lose elsewhere. But overall, we've taken a good step forward if we compare the last four GPs of last season season and the first four of this year. There are other weaknesses and we need to improve in other areas and we shouldn't think that time management is a closed chapter. Next time in China, asphalt and environmental conditions will be different and it will be another challenge. Even Leclerc's statements sound as positive as they can get, with the young Monegas driver saying that with the right steps taken in the proper direction, the progress that Ferrari has made in the past six to seven months goes to show him that the team has improved a lot and they're slowly but surely closing the gap. So, it's only a matter of time before they put Red Bull under more pressure. However, in order for them to do so, they would have to execute their Imola upgrades to perfection. And on top of that, they would have to hope that a certain dent in Red Bull's design would give them enough of an opportunity to utilize their own concept and be the most consistent team on the grid, both in tyre management and one lap race pace. The question of who would prevail as the better driver from Ferrari remains to be answered, and with Carlos Sainz showing a more consistent form in 2024, it's safe to assume that he won't back down easily, even though it could be asked of him if Leclerc gets in a lifetime opportunity to snatch the championship from Verstappen. Sainz is also fighting for his life as an F1 driver, and by doing this, he would show the big teams that he might not be the best driver for them. So with all of these situations in mind, do you think that Ferrari has what it takes in order to take the battle up to Red Bull? And more importantly, who do you think would be the better driver from the Maranello team? Let us know in the comments down below.